now that you have the idea of um, about how long an inch is, remember you found something on your hand, about how long a foot is, remember you found something on your arm, about a yard, okay, stick your hand out, open that door, oh, drop your hand, now look, that's about a yard, and four laps around the track is one mile, you could do a pretty good job of estimating, hmm, about how long something is, because you're gonna have your hand on you, you're gonna have your arm on you. You can make smart guesses using these things. But I need to show you how to actually measure. And this is where fractions help us so much. Think of this, boys and girls, as a number line. And we have been partitioning number lines for forever. When we go through here, those big numbers are your whole numbers. We have one, oh, we start at zero. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how many pieces this number line, this ruler is broken into. I'm gonna do the denominator first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this helps me measure, this ruler helps me measure in eighths. Um, so when I look at the length of something, first I'm gonna look at those whole numbers. I'm trying to measure this pencil from the dot to the dot, so it's pretty much lined up at the zero. Um, if Honestly, if I were measuring this, if I had the capability of moving, I wanna slide that pencil back, but I'm being a little bit picky, so. Um, when we're looking at this, um, we have the pencil lined up, and let's first look at the whole numbers, okay? It definitely goes past the one, it goes past the two, it goes past the three, it goes past the four, so this is four inches. If they ask me to round the whole nearest whole number, is this pencil closer to the four or the five? Right, it's closer to the four. So if they ask me to round the nearest inch, well that's four inches long. Well they might ask me to go to the nearest quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch means our denominator is gonna be in four. Now, some of you are like, Mrs. Hernizen, you just told me that the denominator is eight. But do we know how to turn eighths into fourths? What process did we learn for that? We can simplify fractions, can't we? Simplest form. Yep, you're gonna find factors to do this. We'll be fine. So let's go ahead and look. If they ask us to go to the nearest eighth of an inch, or the nearest quarter of an inch, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, well, I'm gonna do eighths first, because that's easiest. I put that right about there. So let's see how many eighths that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighths. I did my eighths as the denominator. How many? It's about two, two eighths. Those of you who've been practice simplifying on your morning work, something is screaming out to you. But if you haven't, you're still like, that's okay. I know simplest form. Simplest form, I simply do my factors. What are the factors of two? One times two. Eight, it's one and eight. Then it's two and four. Three doesn't go into it, four already does. Let's find our greatest common factor. Some of you already saw it. Two divided by two is one. Eight divided by two is four. Can't forget the whole number. If I am gonna measure this to the nearest quarter inch, this is four and one fourth of an inch long. So if I was measuring to the nearest inch, we said what whole number is it closest to? Four. Nearest half inch, I kind of skipped that one. I went straight to the quarter inch. So now I've got to go back to half inches. Now, let me take some of this mess away. I'm gonna take some of the mess away. We still know it's still gonna be between, oh, I'm erasing again. It's gonna be between four and five. So if a half inch, that means it lands either on the whole number, we take half inch jumps. So the whole number, or halfway in between that, that and the next. So we're gonna break all of these in half. Do you notice something about that dash? That dash is the longest one. They make that a little bit longer to show you that it's the half inch. 
okay? This would be a half inch, that would be one. One and a half, two. Two and a half, three. Three and a half, four. Four and a half, five. This weirds out kids sometimes. You can be measuring to the nearest half inch and have it be three inches long, because see, that's a half inch jump. Let's go ahead and take a peek at this one now. Let me bring down the end, the tip. Go, Okay, so now when I look at that green line where it ends, that green line, is it closer to here or is it closer to here? I'm gonna be honest, it is a teeny, teeny, teeny bit closer to right there. So that means it would be measured to the nearest half inch, four and one half inches. Whew. So this one pencil, if you're measuring to the nearest inch, it's four inches long. Measuring to the nearest half inch, it's four and a half inches long. If you're measuring to the nearest quarter inch, it's four and one quarter inches long. Whew. You better be paying attention what they want you to measure to. If they want you to measure to the nearest inch, half inch, or a quarter inch. Watch this again so that you can practice seeing how you use your ruler filled with fractions to measure. 